everybody welcome to dikshita's world in today's video let's discuss few simple english words which might be misused by many of us we use these words often in our every day to day life but we tend to misuse them it might be because of the pronunciation because of the situation we use them in or because of the spelling not only while speaking but while we are writing something or we are texting to our friend or somebody we use tend to misuse them when we misuse such small small words in our daily activities we tend to lower our confidence because you know minor minor things plays a huge role okay now let's come to the first word the first word is taught and thought t a u g h t taught and t h o u g h t taught i find many people misusing this misplacing to these two words they uh, use taught instead of thought and thought instead of taught the first one taught taught is something which is the past tense of teach my teacher taught me maths today my teacher taught me english okay this is taught and thought i thought it would rain today but it did not i thought she is very good girl but she seems to be not it's like the past tense of think so when the next time you try to use these two words please use them correctly the second pair of words are brought and bought b r o u g h t brought and b o u g h t bought brought is something which is the past tense of bring bring the water bottle here bring your notes here so that i can check what you have written this is brought and bought bought is something which you buy in exchange of money i bought a new dress for the festival i bought a new carrom board yesterday this is bought okay this is a difference between brought and bought so next time when you use them use them properly the next set of words are o n c e once and o n e s once yes they sound similar but their meaning is entirely different o n c e is something which we use with respect to time okay in stories we see right once upon a time there lived a king in a forest and all that is once which is related to, to time i have already prepared for the exam once i have to revise it again this is time now o n e s is something which is belonging to somebody belonging to something it is one's own responsibility to keep their surroundings clean that is once okay that that kind of words you might misuse so please recheck when you use it again the next set of words we are going to learn is there and there t h e r e there and t h e i r there this is the most misused word i have ever seen t h e r e some is something which we tell that something is placed at somewhere there is a water bottle there is a bag there is ramesh there is suresh something which you want to point out about something or somebody where it is placed at now t h e i r t h e i r is something which you use to tell that it is belonging to somebody it is their room okay it is their home it is uh, their car so it is like belonging to somebody so next time when you use this there and there please be careful and use it the next set of words are affect and effect a f f e c t effect is something which is regarding change which can be an impact or which can relate to some impact okay for example let's say you are eating an ice cream in this cold weather and the effect can be very strong very severe okay that is the eating an ice cream in this cold weather can lead to something which is severe now e f f e c t effect this effect is something like This is the effect of you eating an ice cream yesterday because you already eaten an ice cream and today you are facing the consequences. This is the result of change. Effect is something like change in impact and effect is something which is like the result of the change. So they are two different. So please use them mindfully next time.